I bought this light specifically for the workshop. It's to get close to if I needed that extra light if I'm working on something small. However, take a look at this. It gives no light at all. It cost me, I think, five or six dollars. So, um, piece of crap to tell you the truth. So I decided to open it up and see what we have inside. So what we have is a strip of LEDs. There's 12 LEDs on it. I'm guessing they're three to five volt LEDs. And I'm also guessing there's one of those 3.7 volt 18650 batteries in there. Those larger batteries that look like the double A's, they're rechargeable and they produce 3.7 volts. I'm going through my collection of LED strip lights, seeing if I have any three volt rolls here which i don't um i seem to be collecting only 12 volt leds but i did find a 5 volt roll here so i'm gonna see if i can add that to the strip light and produce some more light so here's a 5 volt led strip light i will attach it to this cheap little light here see how much power it's going to produce or how many lumens it'll produce so yeah i mean adding 3.75 volts, sorry, 3.7 volts to this five volt LED. The light's very faint, so this isn't gonna work. So let's just hook up a multimeter to it. Let's see actually how many volts we are getting. I'm guessing it's about three point something volts. and it's 2.7 so again um it's the rechargeable so it needs to be charged what i'm doing is i'm hooking up a 12 volt led and why don't we just add 12 volt strip lights to this and get rid of the battery and just get a power adapter because the way it's working right now, it's just garbage. I'm going to throw it out. Let's do some math here. Each LED on a strip light, a three volt LED will produce three and a half lumens. A 12 volt LED, each LED on the strip light will produce 13 and a half lumens. So doing the math, we have 12 lights on this strip that came with the light. 10 times three and a half, you're getting 35 lumens. As a reference, a 40 watt incandescent light bulb will typically produce 450 lumens. So we're getting less than 10% of the light output, let's call it, than a 40 watt incandescent bulb. If I wanted 40 watt output on a 12 volt LED, I would need approximately 35 LEDs on a strip. So that's what I'm gonna to try to get here. I'm gonna get about 30 to 35 LEDs, a strip of 12, 30 to 35 LEDs. I'm going to attach them to a piece of plastic. You can use anything, you can use cardboard if you want. And then I'll run a wire through the light and I'll attach it to a power adapter. And hopefully this will be useful once again. I'm gonna to have to plug it in, it's not battery operated. But whatever, I mean, you know, it'll it'll serve its purpose. So I'm just using my soldering iron, clipping the old wires from the old strip, and I'll solder the wires onto the new LED. Using the heat gun to heat shrink the tubes that'll protect the wires. There is a double-sided adhesive on the strip here. It's not that, it's not particularly strong. However, I mean, it's not gonna get much movement. It, it, should, it should hold. So I've got 35 lights, which I'll be attaching, which again will produce the same amount of light as a 40 watt incandescent light bulb. After that's done, I take apart the bottom and as you can see, it is indeed one of those 18650 batteries. It's 
snip the wires, take the battery off. What I'm going to do is add a small little switch if I have one. And I will also add an input jack for the power adapter. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be soldering the wires in place, adding a switch, adding a power jack, putting it back together, and hopefully we'll have something useful. It'll be a welcome addition to the workshop. When you're working on small pieces, whether it's you're working on a watch, if you're working on jewelry, if you're working on a small, if you're putting something together that requires small screws, if you're doing some filing, some sanding, you need that extra added light. This will be perfect. It'll just clip onto the workbench and you can get it as close to your project or to the item that you're working on as close as you want. So the wires are soldered together, the light is working. It is a lot more powerful, the output of the light. That's better, right? I'm just gonna have one light. So I'm just adding the switch here. I have, I collect switches. I just collect things, right? When you're throwing something out, I take the, if it's an electrical component, I'll just take the switch out and I keep it. I just keep certain items. I'll keep the input jacks. I'll keep the switches. I'll keep just electrical components that you find will be helpful or useful in the future. I tend to hoard those things. I'm just snipping away at the back of this plastic cover. It's very cheap plastic, super thin, super soft. Uh, it is going to be wire adapted to power adapted, so you just plug it in. And then but it's bright. So there you have it. It works. Thanks for joining. See you guys soon. Bye.